Hey there, this is Roger. Thank you for watching. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this miniature trailer. So I decided to make it out of cardboard, as you can see, because I need it to come apart. Uh, this trailer is going to be shredded by the monster uh, during the opening chase scene in this movie. Uh, here I've got some parts from old vehicles that were destroyed in previous movies. And I'm just kind of measuring out the, uh, the floor plan here for the, for the trailer. Cutting out the, uh, the wheel wells. And I'm just kind of making it up as I go. I really don't know what I'm going to be doing. So during this video, you're going to see me uh, um, sort of undoing or changing things uh, as my ideas sort of uh, come to me. So I've got the idea that uh, during this chase scene, uh, the monster is going to be chasing this, this uh, truck and trailer that's trying to escape, make its getaway, and uh, will slowly be ripped apart during the chase scene. So at the beginning of the chase, it's going to be a hole. And then by the end of the chase, there'll just be a little piece of it that's dragging behind the truck. Uh, one of the characters will be in the, in the trailer at the time and uh, should make for some interesting video. So here I'm just kind of gluing the wheels on the bottom. Um, just doing this real easy because like I say it's going to be ripped apart so I want it to be able to tear it apart easily as, uh, as the scene dictates. But I also want it to look you know, halfway decent. And the glue gun does wonders just because it dries so quick and, you know, you just keep moving. So the box that I'm using is an old computer box. The, the cardboard is fairly uh, firm, so it'll kind of hold its shape and, and it won't really deform too much until it's time to be ripped apart. Here I'm measuring uh, the door uh, with one of the characters. And then we've got the door open. Later, I realized that I don't really need the door to open because there's not going to be any scenes where the door is opening on the trailer. But uh, anyway, there it is. And I cut the windows out. And then I just uh, taped some plastic from uh, some packaging, some firm plastic that I use as the window. So I, I keep all of the, the packaging so I can recycle that. And then I've got a window. So I'm using the hot glue gun to put the windows in, which I realize is probably not the best thing because yeah, you get the glue on the window, it's not going to come off. So I put a kind of paper border around it so you wouldn't see it so much. And then I'm gluing the sides on, uh, just putting the thing together. Here you can see it kind of coming together. So I just kind of had the basic design in my head. I looked online to uh, see some trailers and I kind of favored the older design. I didn't want everything to look new and fancy. I kind of want everything to look uh, kind of distressed, older, you know, has been used a while. So here we see it kind of coming together. And I try to use the T-square the and uh, as much as possible, just try to keep everything square so it all fits together and it, you know, it looks decent on film and it doesn't look lopsided. So the interior is coming together and the next thing I have to do is put the wheel wells in so that the light from the interior does not bleed to the exterior. And you can see it's coming together here. And a quick paint job on the interior to, to be able to paint areas that I'm not going to be able to get to once I put all the wiring and the LEDs and all that other stuff in there. And here I'm painting the exterior on a, uh, with a gray. This is a latex paint uh, because this, this cardboard is waxed. It's, it's a computer box and the paint will just peel off. So I'm using the latex to kind of help it stick and it actually works pretty well. So here I'm, I'm painting uh, an enamel paint over the, the, uh, the gray paint. Later I'm going to change my mind and, and uh, change the color. But you can kind of see the interior coming together there. 
And this is the, uh, the frame so that I can attach it to the truck. Measuring it, make sure it's centered. And a quick paint job. And here I have some uh, cocktail straws. They're straws, they're really narrow. And you can get a box of a thousand off of Amazon for pretty cheap. I don't know that I'm gonna use a thousand, but anyway. So what I did was I, I put a drop of glue on the end of the straw and then I just slide the light through because uh, I gotta put some lights on the top of the, uh, the top of the trailer. And this is gonna be the easiest way to do it, I think. So I'm drilling the hole, this is where the light is gonna go. And I just insert the, uh, the straw with the, the glue ball on the end. And then when I slide the light in through the straw, it illuminates the, the glue ball. So in the dark, uh, because this is a nighttime movie, um, I'll be able to see it rather well. And I just kinda glue them in there, cut them down, and my lights are in, so now I just need to install the wires and the lights. And now for the backlight, this is a, a, a this is a cup from a Barbie collection. Um, so I'm using it as the rear light. And as I as I hook the battery up here, you can see that uh, as the lights are in and wired, uh, that everything seems to work pretty well with a nine volt battery. So I think nine volts is going to be enough to to uh, power this thing. And the inside is uh, sort of messy, but that's going to be great because once the thing gets ripped apart and starts pieces, you know, start flying out the back it's going to look damaged. So we have an interior light uh, just so that I can, uh, you know, I have more uh, dynamics on screen with the interior being lit during the chase also. So as it gets ripped apart, we'll be able to see the interior. And there's my mess of a soldering job. But everything's accessible and it'll be easy to, uh, to sort of take apart. And then what I did is I hook up uh, the nine volt battery uh, connection. And here I'm testing uh, resistor. So it's with and without the resistor. Um, I have to make sure that I get the lights so they're not too bright in the nighttime scenes. And since I don't have a variable resistor, I have to make sure to pick the right one. And then I'm laying down the bed frame. And you can sort of see all the cabinetry around the, the edges there. It's just extra stuff, extra debris that can be uh, thrown out the back as the thing is ripping it apart. All right, there's a piece of cardboard. Fold it in half. And I uh, found an old pair of surf shorts. Let's take the interior out there, the inside, the liner. And uh, just sort of wrap it around the cardboard. And we have a mattress. And we have a blanket. And we have some pillows. So all that stuff can come flying out the back as the monster's ripping it apart. The more debris, uh, the more visually dynamic the scene will be. And I gotta add a light to the outside, um, right outside the front door there, which will be lit uh, not while the thing is moving, but during the, uh, the scene while they're still uh, stationary camping uh, before the chase starts. So this light that I'm using is not my favorite. Uh, these, these ones with the metal leads like this, they, the leads pop off all the time. So I've, I've gone through so many of these lights, just the thing falling apart. But for the ones that I am able to make work, they work pretty well. I just have to hook a resistor up to it. And here's my battery box, just a little cardboard box glued together. Put it over the uh, rectangle opening on the bottom of the trailer so that I can have easy access to be able to power it by battery power or AC. So I can plug it into the AC or use the DC battery power, depending on if it's uh, you know, sitting still or rolling down the road. And here you can see the variable resistor on the outside light. So depending on how bright it needs to be, how close the camera is, how many lights in the scene, you know, et cetera, et cetera, I can, I can adjust the level of the lights. You can kind of see some interior there. And uh, this is just a little piece of metal. I need to, I'm trying to create as much detail on, on the inside as possible so I have as many uh, different objects flying out the back as possible. This is the stove top. 
So I'm just making a real easy, basic, you know, stove top so that when you see it flying out the back with the rest of the debris, you know what it is. And there we have a couple burners. And there we have our stove right next to the bed. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Uh, oh, so here I'm, I'm cutting uh, floor tiles into tiny squares. And these are going to be the, these are going to go on the back lights to uh, kind of cover up that mess around the edges of the back lights. So I start with a small drill bit uh, to make sure it stays centered as I drill. And then as I get that through, then I go with a larger and a larger drill bit to eventually get to the size that I need so that it will pop right over these Barbie glasses. And I'll have some uh, a sort of a, a, a border or a frame around the lights. And we need some curtains for the windows. So I take a, a little uh, bamboo dowel and just glue some pieces to it. This is the rear bumper. Just a piece of wood from a, from a 3D puzzle thing you take apart and put back together. And a piece of uh, a strip of vinyl flooring. And then I paint over everything. And there's our bumper and our rear lights. And now we need a roof because I got to be able to have access to get into that thing to uh, put a character in there and whatever else I may need to do. So here's my roof with the easy access trap door. And here I've taped it on so that I didn't have a bunch of glue debris, you know, glue, uh, extra glue that I had to deal with. And this seems to, seems to work pretty well. And here we can see I've changed the color. Uh, the brighter color I think will show up better on the nighttime scenes. And the top opens up so I can put the characters in there. And then on the front there, I just added a couple pieces of, of wood and a piece of a straw. And it just kind of slides right over the trailer hitch on the truck. And we're ready to roll. So this thing is going to look pretty cool in the dark scenes. And it'll also look pretty cool as the monster is ripping it apart. I do want to build another set, uh, uh, an interior set of this trailer so that I can have a shot of the monster ripping the thing apart from the inside. And here you can see his final paint job and all of the lights. And so anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Stay tuned because I'll have many more videos uh, documenting the entire production, filming, and editing process of this movie. And thank you for watching. Aloha.